please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the future updates hello in this video we are going to see the first ground of divorce available under hindu marriage act or any other act for that matter like special marriage act or muslim law or christian law for that matter and which is most commonly used by many litigants in most of the cases is the ground of cruelty so we will see that ground of cruelty in detail in this session now first question that comes to the mind is what is cruelty that behavior which will make other person want to leave matrimony basically cruelty is not defined in anywhere rather supreme court has stated that it is improbable to define cruelty what cruelty might be may differ from person to person but any such behavior that may be treated as harmful for the other person so that that person will think that now i not i now i cannot stay in this relationship any longer that kind of behavior can be treated as the word cruelty is so that behavior can be cruelty for that particular person and it may differ from one person to the other person so for one person it might be cruelty for the other person it might be a trivial act so what cruelty is that kind of behavior that leads the person to leave the matrimony is cruelty now this cruelty can be further differentiated into three aspects mental cruelty physical cruelty financial or economic cruelty so this cruelty can be differentiated into three aspects one can be mental cruelty the other can be physical cruelty and the third can be financial or economic cruelty so let's discuss each and every factor in detail as far as mental cruelty is concerned any such behavior of the person which directly affects the mind of the other can be treated as mental cruelty for example if the husband calls the wife bad names or if the husband suspects the character of the wife that can be cruelty for such wife or let's take an example where the wife is continuously shouting on the husband for no reason at all and this happens every day that behavior of that wife can be called as cruelty for that husband so cruelty is not necessarily meaning that there has to be physical activity involved it can be mental also as well as for physical cruelty is concern we can definitely say that beating up a person slapping a person or even having forceful sex also can be treated as physical cruelty so without the intention of the spouse if the other spouse forces himself or herself upon that spouse to satisfy the physical lust also can amount to physical cruelty and not just actual beatings or uh, actual slapping can be treated as cruelty there are many facets to physical cruelty as well and as far as financial cruelty is concerned depriving the person financially also can be treated as cruelty for example if the husband makes the wife don't go to work anywhere else and wait in the house be a good housewife and do everything in the house but at the end of the month he does not give her anything to spend in the house as well so it is very difficult for her to manage the household expenses without money at the same time he expects her to do everything but not go out and earn for the house at all in this way it can be termed as financial cruelty for that spouse now this economic cruelty financial cruelty physical cruelty or mental cruelty can be further divided into two main portions positive act or a negative act so for doing something or for not doing something both of it amounts to cruelty let's take example of doing something in all three aspects and not doing something in all three aspects now as far as mental cruelty is concerned actually saying something which is adverse or abusing in filthy language can be treated as doing something which caused mental cruelty as far as physical act is concerned actually beating the spouse can be treated as doing something which amounts to physically uh, physical cruelty that is and as far as financial cruelty is concerned 
actually restricting the amount meaning not giving the amount deliberately or if the wife is earning actually taking away her money can be treated as doing something as far as financial cruelty is concerned now let's take example about not doing something but still it will be cruelty let's take first mental cruelty now if we consider this mental cruelty aspect if the spouse deliberately is not speaking with the other spouse <coughs> here this spouse is not uttering any word at all not mentally abusing or physically abusing but stopped all kinds of communications as well this also is cruelty to the other spouse so it is not necessarily mean that you have to do something by not doing something also it can be a cruelty let's take example of physical cruelty if husband wishes to have physical relations and wife is refusing constantly to have physical relations so not doing physical relations or not having physical relations also can be treated as physical cruelty in terms of physical depravity which amounts to cruelty so not doing something also can amount to cruelty to the other spouse now as far as financially speaking not giving amount also is financial cruelty so a positive act or a negative act both of them in all three aspects mental physical or financial amounts to cruelty now let's see the next point as far as cruelty aspect is concerned what to mention in the petition of divorce to get divorce from the court you have to file a petition in the court stating various things so to seek divorce on the ground of cruelty what has to be mentioned first of all the first and foremost thing is all high courts in india have framed rules wherein it is compulsory for every litigant to mention each and every instance of cruelty that has taken place chronologically and that to date and place wise so while mentioning it it has to be set out in different paragraphs like first paragraph will say cruelty as far as month of march is concerned the next paragraph will say cruelty as far as april is concerned so first of all it has to be in different paragraphs that cruelty has to be established in detail giving date time and place of the occurrence of the instance so everything has to be mentioned in the petition then only that petition can be filed and you also have to understand one thing that while mentioning it it is not necessary to plead your evidence but it is necessary to plead each and every allegation of cruelty that has taken place that you can prove and then it becomes a complete petition so without mentioning day date time and place of the occurrence of the instance you will not be able to succeed as far as divorce on the ground of cruelty is concerned now as far as this cruelty let's see what next point of discussion is how to prove now as far as cruelty is concerned mental cruelty physical cruelty or financial cruelty when the persons are residing in the four corners of the house they are residing in the house and whatever happens in the house is happening between them and there is no one else in the house if there are only husband and wife residing and there is no one else so how to prove these instances in the court if there are any other circumstances created like there is a quarrel that has been taken place between husband and wife outside the house before someone else so let's take an example where there are 10 instances of cruelty out of which eight instances of cruelty have taken place in the house and two instances have taken outside where there are witnesses so where there are witnesses you are expected to provide those witnesses in the court to win the case then only your statement will be corroborated with the witnesses and your statement becomes trustworthy and you can get divorce from the court so it is very important it cannot happen that all of them all the incidences have happened without any presence of the witness at least one witness will be there wherein an instance has taken place before someone else's eyes but let's take an example where there is no witness at all in that scenario how the witness deposes in the cross examination depends upon the fate of the case if the witness states everything sticking to the facts <clears throat> and stating whatever is true then we say that that witness is trustable witness and that witness's testimony will also suffice to grant divorce in a particular case so many factors are there to consider while proving the case of cruelty is concerned let's see the next topic of discussion it has to be grave and weighty basically 
द एक्ट ऑफ क्रुएल्टी मैंशनड इन द पिटिशन हैज टू बी ग्रे एंड वेटी इंसिडेंसेस ट्रिवियल एक्ट एंड नॉर्मल क्वारल्स do not quantify or do not amount to cruelty why is that see when there are two persons coming in a relationship husband as well as wife there will be quarrels it cannot happen that they are living happily ever after without a single quarrel there will be at least one quarrel happening between the parties but every quarrel does not amount to cruelty to amount to cruelty it has to be some grave or weighty incidents then only we will treat that particular incidents as cruelty to be entitled to get divorce on that ground so it has to be grave and weighty trivial acts and regular quarrels between husband and wife will not amount to cruelty and now the last part of the topic of the cruelty is condonation of cruelty now as far as this condonation of cruelty is concerned it is utmost important to mention in the petition that there is no condonation so what is condonation basically condonation means forgiveness and as far as this forgiveness part is concerned the court has to look after the matter carefully that there is no condonation happening because if there is condonation then cruelty washes away see what is the object of condoning someone or forgiving someone is we accept that he is a human being and he will commit mistakes and we forgive so that he will not repeat that mistake again right so similar case if the cruelty is happening and if there is condonation of cruelty the petition will not survive because you have already forgiven whatever has been happening and therefore there cannot be no cruelty so as far as condonation factor is concerned the court has to see and therefore you also have to understand that while proving the case you should not condone the acts of cruelty mentioned in the petition yourself while deposing in the witness box if you say at the end of the day that i love my wife it directly amounts to condonation whereby you are ready and willing to live with your wife and therefore it will be condonation and your petition will be straight away dismissed if you have liked the video please give a thumbs up video on various topics are going to be uploaded on youtube please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the future updates Thank you.